Hodges, who had that big 25-point performance in the first round, finishes off with a two-point ball. Again, he hits it. Ellis, with his last few seconds, needs to get a couple in quickly. And that's going to take care of it. And it looks as though, yes, it is. It's Craig Hodges, who is going on to the final round against Larry Bird with 14 points. He got six in the second shootoff. They had tied in the first one. So Larry Bird going up against Craig Hodges in the final of the three-point shootout. The results after the second round, Bird against Hodges, Ellison Tucker eliminated. Should be very exciting final. Here we go. Hodges with the legs, Bill, look like he's getting a little weary. Yeah, he's coming up short, Rick, because uh, I think the legs are the jump shooting that many times. Brings you up short. from the Milwaukee Bucks, struggling just a bit. A little flat, Bill. No legs for the little guy. Two racks to go for Craig Hodges. Uh-oh, a little problem with the ball rack. Ball boys come in to help him out. Finally gets a chance to get off that two-point shot. Craig Hodges having difficulty here in the finals. Craig Hodges comes up with only 12 points in the final round. Boy, I bet he would like to have the first round over again, Bill, with those 25. And now Larry Bird, and look at the concentration. Looks like he's found the mark, Bill. straight before he missed it. Larry Bird on his way to victory here in the long distance shootout. Oh, wait a second. Off the glass. Give me a break, Larry. That's right. And if anybody needs $10,000, I'm sure, it's Larry Bird. Larry Bird, our winner here in the three-point long distance shootout. Congratulations to Larry Bird with 20 points his best effort of the afternoon and a deserved hand for Larry Bird Atlas shrimp looking very strong bird had 18 points in the semis Danny Ainge had eight so Cooper has 10 so it'll be Detlef shrimp and Larry Bird. Shrimp had 16, Cooper had 10. Shrimp and Bird for the championship and $12,500 when we return. All right, we are back. You're looking at the floor here for the coin toss is what you were looking at. These two are getting a coin toss to determine who will shoot first. Let's take a look at that little shrimp now. All right, now let's watch his form. You see that little shrimp using his legs well, but he is more, again, of a jump shooter. It'll be interesting to see how his legs hold up going into this third round of competition. That could very well be the difference in who comes out as the champion. Larry Bird, with that little jump of his, he doesn't expend a lot of energy, and he, I really think, is, is going to win this competition because I would assume that he'll get somewhere between 16 and 18 points again on this, uh, this go-round. <laughs> So we have shrimp. If you mispronounce it a little bit and call it shrimp and bird, we kind of have fish and fowl. This, oh, they're all. Oh, my Bob. story. I said that, Rick. Oh. You won't let me forget that, I'm sure. Oh. Well, there was a coin toss. Larry Bird won and elected to go first. I guess he figures he wants to get some points here and put the pressure on shrimp. One minute, a total of 30 points available. There are 25 balls to shoot. Brown one's worth one, red, white, and blue ball worth two. There's Bird. Let's count him as he goes. That's two. Three. He's off to his best start. I told Four. you, don't let him in. Five. <laughs> and that's seven points. Detlef Schrepp is lost right now. He's finished, Bob. He can't win this competition. That was eight in a row before Bird missed two.
two-pointer helps him a lot, but he's put tremendous pressure on Detlef Shrimp sitting there watching him hit the, those first shots of his. He needs to hit a couple of more hoops, however, because Shrimp could still come back, but I still believe that Bird may have won it in the beginning. Bird has 14 points now. That'll be 15. 16. And this one's a big one. Bird finishes with 16 unofficially. And now you see Larry Bird after he missed that last one. He was unhappy. I thought he'd get somewhere, as I said, between 16 to 18. He came on the low end. He may have opened the door with that bad run that he had in the middle. And again, Bob, as you pointed out, the players are having difficulty with the shot from the middle of the court. Unofficially, Bird has 16 points. So that was just our count here. We'll get the official in a moment as we take a look at Larry Bird. Started off a house of fire. Yes, he did. But again, look at the rhythm that he has. Shoots it, little turn, little move. Not a lot of exaggeration in the upper body. Gets the ball to his hands quickly. The good concentration, the good follow-through, and the two points on that advantage ball. And the official is 16 for Larry Bird. So Detlef Shrimp for $12,500 and the honor of the Dallas Mavericks. Well, $5,000 difference between first and second. All right, here's Shrimp. Trying to beat 16 points. Maximum total would be 30. He has one minute. If he hits this one, he has a chance. Got Only trouble. one point in the first rack. The pressure on Bird's strategy of going first may have helped. That's a the second point of the entire shooting. Uh, he's this shrimp. You can tell by looking at him that he seems to be just off it. Now, well, I tell you, Larry did the right thing. He knew that he could really put the pressure on the young player by getting off to a good start. He wanted to not have to sit and watch shrimp. And shrimp got hot from the middle rack. That's the first time we've seen. Right, well. has seven points now. That's seven points. But he has eight. Got to get a hot straight here. Nine. He needs this, this one. one. That's 11. Needs five more points to tie. That's 11. Down to the end of the minute. That's 12. 13. It's going to be close. 14. He makes this. He ties. needs this one. No! Larry Bird will win it on the miss of the two-point ball at the end. Look at Larry Bird. I'll tell you, the Bird man was biting his fingernails at the end. Larry Bird defends his championship. And I tell you, Bob, they blew it in the first round. Here you see Shrimp. He needed every one of these to tie. That's for 13. This one is for 14. Bird had 16, and it's all riding on this last shot of that the Shrimp. It looks like it's right on line and a hair short. Just caught the front inside of the rim on the right side and kicked out. <laughs> Larry Bird, the riverboat gambler. You could also see him in a pool hall. He could probably win no matter what the score is. He just knows how to get the big W. Larry Bird, the 1987 champion. Presentation of the trophy and the check for $12,000. $1,500 to the 1987 champion Larry Bird at the center of the court. See some of the executives out there who are going to present the Adrian DeGroote of the NBA uh, over on the left side there. He'll be presenting the $12,500 check and there's the trophy. To our winner, Larry Bird of the American Airlines Sheridan Long Distance Judo. American Airlines Sheraton, the sponsors, officials from those two companies are out there to make the presentation to Larry Bird. He won 10,000 last year and 12,005 this year. Let me explain the coin toss here. They'll toss the coin and the winner of the coin toss can elect to shoot first or second. The loser will then have his choice of baskets. It's like Dale won the toss, Bob, and he's deciding what he wants to do. The same I will receive. Dale Ellis won the toss, and he can choose to go first, and he has said he will go first, and Bird chose the end opposite to the direction they are walking for his shooting. Well, he's been wearing this end out. So yeah. <laughs> we'll be back in a moment for the finals. Dale Ellis, we are not going to go away. Dale Ellis is going to shoot right now. One minute. 25 balls, a maximum of 30 points. The winner with $12,500. Second place, $7,500. This first rack is probably the most crucial for Ellis. If he can get a good rhythm going, he'll have a chance. Well, he's got it going, like you said, Steve, four in a row. 
You know, I might mention here, he may have launched that first ball before the uh, siren sounded, and we'll make sure to see if that, in fact, is an official point. Well, Ellis is a player that, you know, can feel a little bit of pressure, but he's got some good results in the first two racks. Now we have 30 seconds remaining, and Ellis with nine points, and 11 with the two-point ball. See if he even gets all the balls up this time. He has yet to do that. Well, this rack has hurt him, Steve. Got a big ball there. Now he's got to really go with some speed and accuracy from the corner. Ten seconds left. 14 points for Ellis. He gets them all off. Unofficially, Ellis with 15. But we're going to hold just a second to make sure of that. The first shot may not have counted. And Larry Bird, the two-time defending champion, nobody has ever defeated him in the long-distance shootout, is set to go right after we take a look at Dale Ellis. There you see Dale firing away. He got off to a terrific start, like you said, Steve, and I thought that that would get him going. However, even though he shot well on the second rack, the third and fourth racks were really his downfall. He, he was only able to drop that one brown ball and one two-point shot in on those two racks, and uh, that could prove to be very costly going up against the defending champion, Larry right. Bird. You know how Bird is. He feels that when the money down no one is better than himself it watched him he lined all those balls up to be in the perfect position on that first rack i'm surprised he didn't do it on all of them he has 60 seconds 25 balls he has to beat 15 points a slow start but he warms up as he gets going three points out of the first rack He's all over the place in this rack. Usually he comes back with that big money ball that keeps him close. He's hit both the money balls, both the two-point balls. It's like he's over-adjusting. He's come up short, and then he all of a sudden throws it a little bit long. He certainly doesn't have that normal bird rhythm going for himself. He does not. At 25 seconds remaining, he has only seven. has to be 15. That's eight. Make it nine. And ten. At 11, as we're counting. 13. Huge rack that time for Bird. He's still got to drop one here quickly. 14. This is a tie for the money. Yo! And Larry Bird at the buzzer with the two-point ball. 17 to 15 defends the long-distance shootout crowd at Chicago Stadium. water in his veins. The man is really spectacular. He was all over the place, as Steve pointed out, in the first three racks, and when it came down to the money time, this is what the man responded to. He needed to make a couple down the stretch. He needed to make the last three to win, and he's down to the last three. There's one. Now he's tied, and now he's the winner. Three times in a row. He, he knew, knew it, it when he let it go and was headed for that check in the winner's circle. Bird came through with the big Big shot. All right, we're going to come back and the, have the trophy presentation and an interview with Larry Bird, who has won all three of the long-distance shootout. They're going to handicap this guy next year. We'll be right back to Chicago Stadium. Thank you very much, Bob. I guess it was no surprise, but the dramatic way in which you won it this third time is amazing. What were you thinking after the terrible start on that final round? Well, I just worried about getting the two-point balls down after I missed the shots, but... Uh, you know, I knew he just had 15 points, and I had still had plenty of time. Once I got to the top of key, I knew I had to make some shots. Those first two racks, the ball was all over the place. How did you get your rhythm back? Well, you have to concentrate a little bit more and take your time. Uh, minutes a long time to get up 25 shots, so I just took my time and uh, uh, was just hoping that someone would start dropping for me. With names like Al Capone and John Dillinger, Chicago's had some memorable shootouts. Maybe not sakes this hot, but nobody cooler under pressure. You really thrive in this. Well, it's a lot of fun. You know, uh, the guys come out, and it's a little bit harder than it looks. I got out there, and I knew I had to beat 15 points. I just took my time and uh, made some shots at the end, and uh, everything worked out for me. Congratulations once again. Thank you.